My name is Kent Bates. I work for American Express in Salt Lake now, but for about 20 years, I worked in television news. I, I had the, uh, the, the pleasure of being able to help out with a band documentary. Being just a band father, uh, I had been to all the competitions and, and seen both of you shooting you know, numerous hours of video. And because of what I had done in my previous career, um, respected greatly the amount of time that you were putting into what you were doing. Um, and then, you know, just by happenstance, had the opportunity to uh, come on board to narrate and be the voice of that documentary. It was very easy to work with, with both of you uh, and, and with uh, everybody involved with this. I can tell you in the experiences that I've had, even when I've gone to, to New York to do special reports and had to deal with, with crews in New York, many times they were the least professional people I worked with. Uh, whereas working with individuals, both in, in the freelance items that I used to do in North Carolina or working with your team, uh, sometimes it's, it's those who are the smallest, the most inexperienced, if you want to say that, who are the most professional and the most thorough in what is actually put on the air. The details make a big difference. I felt very proud of, of what you did and how you conveyed my part of it. Looking at the finished product and thinking that I had been even a small part of that emotion that was carried out on the screen was, was a huge feather in my cap. I loved it. I've only been part of a couple of your projects, but in looking at what you've been able to do on different projects, short and long form, shows the versatility and the ability to, to mix emotions from humor to serious to somewhat of a drama uh, when you talk about the Corey Ride Memorial that was put here. Uh, that's a very heart-wrenching situation. I can't emphasize how difficult it is to reach a balance when it comes to something as touchy as a Corey Ride video. It's very easy for somebody with a camera and with a microphone to become part of the story or to become a little bit forceful in trying to force a story. And, and so I really respect that balance when it's struck. Um, and I think that that's what we saw when it was shown on the big screen over here in the park and see the faces of people. I don't think there was anybody who felt like you were pushing your way into a, a story to tell a story. But I also think that, that you sufficiently went far enough to get the emotion to tell the story of who this man was, the tragedy that, that was his, his passing, but then also how the family is now as well. It's a very touchy balancing act to, to try to carry off. And to carry that off with the full respect that you, you gave that family and also the city that was an extremely well done video. And then to see the, the humorous side of the things that you've done shows the ability to bounce back and forth between different genres inside the, uh, the video world. 